Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to God of War Ragnarok. Something over there. Hopefully I should be able to collect these things now. Mimir, a little while ago you mentioned Odin's ravens. What's to stop him from using them to pop into existence and kidnap anybody he wants? Consent. The only way to travel by Odin's ravens is by your own choice. Oh, it's not so bad then. Well, that is a, a bit of a relief. Or is he still flying around? Good stuff. Any more Thor and Odin stories to remember? What about Fjorgen? Thor's mother was a giant, wasn't she? Indeed she was. The circumstances of her demise were murky at best. But not sure I can blame Odin for that one. He wasn't the same after. Oh, I know. There was Skavi, the queen of the hunt. Aye, she spurned Odin's affections. So he tricked her into killing her father. There was Starkather the Mighty, the Jotnar military leader. Slandered by Odin, tricked and murdered by Thor. And there was Thrym the Cunning, the giant king who stole Thor's hammer. Odin traded him Freya to get it back, then sent Thor in disguise to murder his entire court. Who else? Ah, Grung near the Brawler, the stone giant. Aye, mocked by Odin, murdered by Thor. Enough of this. But there's more. I do not care. War with Odin is not the answer. I oh know, Odin's making it very difficult to sympathize with him. Another drug of all brother. You're on fire, Kratos! It will pass! <laughs> it will pass! No, don't you fucking dare. Yeah, we're not we're not messing around with this bullshit. Well, I had a thought. What if we took a stealthy approach to our next battle? No. What do you mean stealth? I think I've covered all this area. Yeah. Something I'm not sure I quite understand. In the Ragnarok prophecy, Odin knows all the realms get destroyed, including Asgard. In the version Groa kept secret, Asgard still falls. Wouldn't Odin have tried to prevent it either way? What difference did her lie really make? I think of it this way when it comes to subverting prophecy, knowledge is power. Without the full picture and context, the finer details can lead you to tragically incorrect interpretations. Back in my homeland, I was privy to the operations of a certain coven of heath witches who were keen on destabilizing the government. They picked an influential thane, 
an otherwise loyal man, and fed him a story of his own ascension to king. They dressed it up in enough details they knew would come to pass, so when they did, the Thane took it as confirmation. Next thing you know, he's helping matters along. He murders his king, sleeping under his own roof. Murders many he once called friends, too, thinking them fated to oppose him. Then, for a finishing touch, the witches revisit this usurper. With just a few details structured ever so misleadingly, they convinced the fool he was invulnerable to all threats. Physical, Physical or, or magical. magical. Aye, aye, but twas not <laughs> so for him. All turned into a rather magnificent bloodbath as they go, the Thane ends up without his head and a name so cursed none dare speak it. All thanks to a subtly deceptive prophecy. You really gotta write these stories down one day, Mimir. Well, I try. Jaw tends to get sore, but thank you, lad. <laughs> hey, Sindri. Lovely crystal work and those elven gifts you found. I'll be happy to pay you for them. Thanks for grabbing that for us. What can I make for you? And Atreus? Oh, these are special items. No. This must be from Alfheim. Explains the, uh, ooh, sand. Good night. Let's see, my boy. Uh, lethal detonation enemies killed. Any attacks against enemies? Yes, go with that one. Fashionable. Oh, we'll do both. There you go. Tasteful. Kratos. I'll disinfect my tools. Is that the one I'm wearing now. Yeah. Oh, you're even better. Vitality goes down, but I'm sure I can upgrade that. Strength goes up as well. Takes my vitality down completely. Wear it with pride. Can't upgrade that. Can't upgrade that either. It's increased my strength and defense, so maybe that will do the job. Now, just because you've got new armor doesn't mean you should let yourself get knocked around more. Very well. And what's the point? Yeah. And this is empty. Great. Nope. All right, not sure what you mean by that. Right, which way am I going? Soldiers we fought in Svartalfheim. Those were Einherjar? I thought Einherjar were just spirits in Valhalla until Ragnarok comes. They were no spirits. Indeed, brother. Odin appears to have found a loophole. Activated his forces early as a standing army. Perhaps something he could only do. Not going the right way. Without any honest Valkyries around to stand in his way. Oh, 
Ah, oh, I think I missed the door. Oh yeah, there it is. Hello, there we go. Andreas. Listening to your father, I hope. <laughs> Good to see you. Yeah, let's head back to the house. Push the story on a bit. Well, I hope Tears had enough time to find his equilibrium or whatever. Indeed. I saw flashes of the old god of war in them, but they were fleeting. There is nothing wrong with opposing war, nor opposing prophecy. I suppose that's fair. Never can be quite sure what the giants meant by any of it. Am I the only one that remembers they predicted our entire journey to Jotunheim? If the giants saw Tyr leading armies at Ragnarok, then I believe them. The question is how you'll ever make Tyr believe it. Good point. Master Kratos, I would speak with you. Would you now? Speak. If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes and I will attend to your needs. Would you care to take a practice throw? <laughs> a magnificent throw, Master Kratos. Truly a seasoned pro. Very well. You know how to reach me now. But putting all that aside for the moment, is there anything else? I have a question. Splendid! I delight in offering my tutelage to the Inquisitive. Over the ledge, by the gateway over there. I noticed these dragons. Dragons? Oh no, young Master Atreus. Those are leaned worms, the brood of Neithog. Neithog? That's the mother? Correct. She's also a vital piece of the Yggdrasilian circle of life, as it were. I tend the branches up here, while Neithog chews the roots from below to prevent overgrowth. A delicate balance. So they're friendly? Well, they're not nearly so affable as myself, but there's no reason to expect hostility so long as they're left in peace. Neithog is a stern matriarch, as protective of her offspring as she is determined to teach them proper discipline. That sounds... Familiar. Hmm. <laughs> well, good luck out there. Thank you. I'm away with you already. Hmm. Clean the armor menu to equip accessories. Oh, glad to see you back, young one. Come help me, won't you? Oh, sure. We can eat whenever you like, Kratos. The stew will only improve with time. But armor. Onion. Ah! You're already equipped, so let's, let's put you there then. There we go. That should help. You know what he's putting in that so-called stew of his, don't you? Vegetables! Fucking vegetables! From out of the dirt! That just ain't right. <laughs> I agree. Right. All right. You really must. This vision of me in your mind, where I'm as good as Odin is evil, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the truth is always more complicated. To imagine it simple is dangerous. So you're really not going to help us? You'll have my wise and faithful counsel always. I wish I could do more. I really do. But for now, please, sure. allow me to cook for you. A good meal will help wonders. You never underestimate it. Dress. Eat. Oh, careful. Careful. Thank you.
<laughs> Enjoy. Enjoy, my friends. Yeah. We'll see about that. Here you are. A meal fit for a champion. Enough. I said we would speak no more of that. Yes, of course. No. Didn't mean to offend. Uh, I'm not offended. It's just a word. The word that clouds your judgment. So, you really don't think it means anything? After the journey Mom sent us on? Everything we saw in Jodenheim? What was it all for? Don't you ever think about that? Every day. But I cannot believe her purpose was to inspire you to take foolish risks. But what if the giants are counting on me? What giants? I am counting on you. To be safe. To be smart. But... Use the judgment of a man and not of a child. But what if Loki going to Ironwood is the only way that... <laughs> oh, Atreus. My son. And nothing more. Do you hear me? I'm not hungry anymore. Forgive me, Kratos. <laughs> My words were chosen carelessly. You really should eat. Some people swear by it. On almost a daily basis. I just don't understand. Why is there all this stuff about Loki and, and the champion and Ironwood if none of it's real? He's just so... Ugh! Mind if I give you the best advice you've heard all day? And possibly ever? Sleep. That's when all the troubles of your mind work themselves out. Sure. Fine. Sleep? Sounds great. I mean it. I do too. Get out of here, Ivy. <coughs> already gone. <laughs> Oh, bless him, poor Sindri. known I was a god in Elfon. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. What's going on? Was that a mask? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Where am I? It's all you ever talk about. Over and over. Do something about it or shut up or Little people's Little We're problems. sick of hearing about little people's little problems. Memories. And not nice ones. You broke the gate! That was our only way to Yonahan! What do you want? Let's go! 
Truma! I don't understand. Whatever. 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 Hey! Don't run off! Whatever. Can you tell me where I am? Whatever. 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 Will you stop? Um, okay. I gotta get out of here. He should pay for what he said about mother. Oh. But we're gone. We oh. can do whatever this. we want. Please, please wait. Please. Oh. Why is this happening? This is a much better knife than mother's. Please stop! The hell is this? Oh, hello. Uh, easy. Huh. Okay, I guess I'm gonna follow you. Hey, where are you going? <coughs> follow you? Okay, guess I'll see you around the other side. Can you understand me? Oh, hi there. Okay, two wolves. So, where are we going? There was a thing about two wolves, wasn't God. there? I was having uh, the weirdest chasing dream the sun and the moon. Up here. Is this Ironwood? Any idea how I got here? I dreamt my way here. I mean. Suppose I must have. I'm here. All right. Scent? What scent? Oh, that might be Fenrir you're smelling. Wish you were here to meet you. Well, there's three wolves now. Oh. <laughs> there's a lot of you, huh? Five, six. Am I being led? What's that smell? Into a trap. Here, it's. I don't know. Sweeter? Maybe it's these trees. Coming. Ah. <laughs> you tell me if you were gonna eat me. <laughs> That's a joke, right? <laughs> I don't I've think it is. I've never seen a forest like this before. I hear, but I call this Council of Wolves into session. Through here?
I'm not finished with it yet. <gasps> the pain is made from the bark of the ironwood trees. They absorb the memories of the forest so that the paint remembers too. Memories of the past. Of the future. I'd hate to get blood on it. What's wrong? I've been waiting my whole life for this moment. Huh. You look weirder than I imagined. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> um, was that mean? Kind of. Damn it. I'm already messing this up. <laughs> it's just you're the first person that I've talked to in a very long time. And weird can be good. Uh, thanks. You got any questions, Atreus? Let's start over. I'm Angraboda. You must have a lot of questions. Uh, yeah. Where Follow are me. We? Right, fair enough. You'll get your answers soon enough. Well, some of them. <laughs> when you, right. you knew me? Like I said, you'll get your answers soon enough, Loki. Right. Is that not your name? No. It is my name. I'm Loki. Oh. This way. I'll uh take my own path. <laughs> so where am I exactly? I'm in this weird fog. Oh, I've heard the Utengard can be disorienting. Still, you're safe here in the Ironwood. All right. So, I thought Ironwood wasn't a real place. Clever, right? Odin won't go searching for the Forest of the Giants if he doesn't think it exists. The Forest of the Giants. That's what some people call it. Or called it. I'm confused. It's big. I thought giants weren't all supposed to be giant. So, what do you do here? Paint, forage, survive, preserve what I can. But why wait for me? Because my destiny is to tell you yours. One at a time, please, so, children. What were you doing before you came here? Surviving Fimble Winter. Wait, is that a thing around here? Did you know about it? I did. <sighs> I'll be up above you, but keep going the way you're going. 
All right. Is that chainmail? I wonder what Brock and Sindri would think of that. Who? Oh, they're kind of like uncles. Kind of? You Midgard giants are strange. They're dwarves, actually. Still strange. Yoppa! Very good. And that's where it wants me to go, clearly, so what's around here? We'll read that later. This episode is already going over. It's just something my father. You know what? Never mind. Ah, I see. I had to come around this way. Today. Looking good. Thanks. Wait, what? It looks like you're going the right way. Oh, yeah, totally. Alpha. <laughs> Come on. All right. How are you doing? I'm great. I met another living giant. Maybe one who walked my destiny. What? Uh, sorry. I'm just really excited to talk to you. <laughs> okay. All right, now which way? Ah, up here. Everything's okay, right? Yeah, I'm just in a magical force that shouldn't exist. Talking to another giant and she's... Yeah. Ah. I see what's going on here, Atreus. Hello. <laughs> Whoa. Gotcha. Thanks. Guess I'm still getting the hang of things here. <laughs> Where are we going? My mother recorded her visions, or prophecies. Thought you might like to see them. Where are your parents? They're not around. Are they? Hey, I know you have a lot of questions, but not this one. Okay? I'm sorry. That's fair. Loki. Oh, hello. I've got it. Tell me when. Them. 
I have to be super precise. Oh, okay, maybe not. I don't have to be that precise. Help me with this. Oh, sure. Hang on. Okay, now you. Nicely done. medallion race you across <laughs> what go uh, okay I have a feeling I'm not gonna win this race I can go down. Okay, maybe. Whoa! First one off the medallion wins. Hey, when was that in the? When was that the rule? Yeah, that's true. Tackle worm! I've seen these before. Well, then you should know how to beat them. It's usually not so lively around here. Guess I'm just lucky. Yeah, uh, you're just lucky. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I've got you. This bullshit. Shines where she <laughs> it was her way of ensuring the legacy of our people would live on, despite the Aesir's best efforts. All right, well, we'll have to have a look at that in the next episode. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I'll be sick later. This has been God of War Ragnarok, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now. <laughs>